About three decades ago, coral reefs in Halong Bay were thriving. However, rapid tourism growth and coastal exploitation have since caused severe degradation. A 2015 survey revealed that no healthy reefs remained. Even the best had less than 50% coverage, with the bay's average dropping to just 20%. And in recent years, scientists have reported hopeful signs of recovery. Some reefs now show coral recoverage of 60 to 70%. Several areas under natural restoration have been identified, mapped and assessed for conservation. Halong Bay is home to 163 coral species of various shapes and colors, forming vibrant underwater gardens that sustain 107 fish species, along with seaweed, crustaceans, and other marine life. And on the ground, fishermen first made their home in Halong Bay in the 19th century. Today, their descendants continue to live in floating villages such as Ba Hang, Cống Tàu, Vung Viêng, and Cửa Vạn. Over generations, they have maintained a unique cultural identity closely linked to the bay's natural beauty and geological heritage. Though life has evolved, their deep connection to the sea and traditional way of life remains. Follow our reporter Brad Hurst to learn more. This fishing family has lived in Ha Long Bay for generations, though today only about 50 residents remain. They now combine tourism with traditional fishing, continuing the craft passed down from their ancestors. We cast the nets and then tap on the boat. The fish hear the sound and swim into the net. My family has lived on boats for three generations, making a living solely from fishing. In line with fishing regulations outside Ha Long Bay's core heritage zone, local fishermen maintain their traditional livelihood while also hosting tourists through programs coordinated by the Bay Management Board. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo-wee! Victory is had! As usual, getting a chance to spend time with the local folks and getting to know them, their names, seeing their homes, and hearing about their lives is something that's a lot different on this trip versus other trips I've been on, which tend to have focused on a little bit more of the tourists, boats, and uh, various other common aspects here of Halong.